Hey there, good of you to tune in to the Reaction Channel. I'm sure you saw all the videos with the different challenges. Did you also see the video, the challenge with the two different drafts? Did you like it? Well, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these rafts. You can make anything you like, anything goes. That's the neat thing about these reaction tiles. You can make anything you like. But for a raft, you need a couple of basic things. We're going to make the base to contain the bottles. We're going to make a lid and we're going to make a basket. I mentioned the bottles. The bottles are important because we want the raft to float. Exactly. So let me show you the base. I made a bottom like this. You can use any colors you want, any construction you want. Then in the middle, I made sure there's enough space for two bottles. So whatever size bottle you use, make sure that it fits inside the base. And then I made some walls around or a fence, whatever you want to call it, to make sure that the bottles don't fall out. So that's the base. Now on to the lid. The lid is to close off the base so that the bottles, the big ones, stay contained inside the raft. And you can make, again, any lid that you want. And to top it off, this is optional, but I like it. I also made a basket. A basket that you can put on top of the lid. So you have sort of a, I don't know, whenever you're in a swimming pool, somebody can push the drinks towards you. That will be cool. Little rewind. We're going back to the base and the lid. We're not going to use glue. We're not going to use the connectors, the links. We're going to use rubber bands to connect everything together, the bottle specifically. But first, the big ones inside the base. This one like that. So as you can see here, the bottles fit perfectly. So again, whatever size bottles you use, make sure they fit inside the base. Then, before I put the lid on, I'm going to put some rubber bands so I can make sure that the outside bottles, which I need for buoyancy, will stick to the raft. Here we go. One in each corner, but I have a couple left, so I think, better safe than sorry, I'm going to use them all. There we go. I'm kind of excited because I hope it will float. It should float. This works. Yeah, it works. All right, put the rubber bands. Now I can put the lid on top of the base and make sure that it's sturdy, nice and fixed. Yes, this raft is looking strong, ready to float. Well, almost ready to float. Here we go, check. Cool. I wonder if you could make this life-size? That would be pretty neat. Okay, but first this one. All right, so we have two bottles inside, but there's not much balance here. So we need four bottles on the outsides of the raft to make sure that it stays afloat and straight, straight up. All right, let's go with the first bottle on this side. And this, you can use your creativity. You can paint the bottles to make some extra colors for your raft. Actually, the dents in the X tiles make sure that the rubber band doesn't move. How cool is that? Okay, number two. All right, it took some fidgeting, but finally, two bottles in the middle and four bottles on the outsides. Look. I like it. All right, let's top it off with the basket. What do we have? 
Ha, ah, perfect. That's cute. Look, I hope it stays dry, but I'm sure it will. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Ready for the floating test. Here we go. I'm loving this acoustics. In three, two, one. Perfect score! Check it out. This is amazing. I mean, this really floats. One, two, three, go. Wow, okay, so now I hope you have enough information to make your own raft. Make sure you have a base as a container, that you have a lid, and if you want, you can also make a basket. Make sure that the bottles stick inside, fit perfectly, and you have bottles on the outside. Use rubber bands to connect everything together and make your own raft. If you do so, share your creations with us using the hashtag, that's a reaction. For now, like, subscribe, comment on this video, and see you next time. Bye-bye.